Bad Bunny is a huge star. His songs have racked up billions on streams, he's performed at the Super Bowl, and he's currently dating Kendall Jenner. But Bad Bunny admits that at the beginning of his career, he had no clue how the music business worked. Bad Bunny was born Benito Antonio Martinez Ocasio and raised in the Puerto Rico coastal town of Vega Baja. The rapper says he wasn't the kid who got involved with the streets. He preferred to spend his time at home with his family. He sang in his church choir until 13 and began making his own beats and freestyling in his bedroom as a teen. At age 19, Bad Bunny began releasing music through SoundCloud. In 2016, his song D-less got over a million plays in just two weeks. Suddenly, Bad Bunny was in demand. He remembers having to run to the bathroom at his grocery store job to answer calls from music producers. Success came quickly, and Bad Bunny didn't feel ready. He admits he was so inexperienced that he didn't know what to charge for studio time and playing graduation parties. Bad Bunny worked at the grocery store to put himself through college, where he studied audiovisual communications. He says the job made him even more ambitious. All I wanted was for my shift to end so I could go home. It was really motivating, because you never really want to be doing that. All you want is to reach your dreams and earn money doing what you like. The rapper says he'd use his shifts at the store to memorize songs in his mind. In 2016, Bad Bunny signed with a manager and quit his job at the supermarket. The pair decided to release his singles online without signing to a major record label. Over the next couple of years, his music topped the Latin charts. Then, in 2018, Bad Bunny achieved international success thanks to his collaboration with Cardi B. Their song, I Like It, was the song of the summer. After that, Bad Bunny catapulted to superstardom. In 2020, he performed with Shakira and Jennifer Lopez at the Super Bowl. The same year, Spotify declared Bad Bunny the artist of the year. His music had more than 8 billion streams on the platform. Even though he has fans all over the world, Bad Bunny never set out to conquer the English market. In a 2022 GQ interview, the Puerto Rican star admitted he was proud that he stuck to his roots and still found success. I was never on a mission to be like, oh, this is what I'm going to do. It happened organically. Like, I've never made a song saying, this is going to go worldwide. I've never made a song thinking, man, this is for the world. This is to capture the gringo audience. Never. Bad Bunny says he thinks some Latinx artists feel pressured to collaborate with American stars just because they're American. But he doesn't think that's right, and he says he'll only make songs if his Puerto Rican fans are going to listen to them. Unfortunately for Bad Bunny, his quick rise to fame also came with some mental health issues. In a 2020 interview, he admitted he felt depressed and overwhelmed and had to put his career on hold from 2016 to 2018 to take care of himself. He said, I didn't feel well. I wasn't happy with what I was doing. I was feeling unhappy, you know, with all the success, achieving so many things, my dreams coming true, etc. But I wasn't enjoying any of it. So I decided to distance myself from everything. In 2018, he released the track Estamos Bien and sent this message to fans on social media. Many times we're sad and we don't know why, and it's simply because we forgot about the simple things in life. I'm human just like you. And even though I've done many big things, there are smaller ones that I have yet to achieve. And it's those smaller things that give happiness. Bad Bunny has become one of the biggest artists in the world in just a few years. Obviously, he's learned how to deal with international fame, but it wasn't always easy.